Here's a quick video and follow up on my insulated barn door. Right now I'm standing in my garage. This is You're looking at a uh, ceiling mounted heater. Outside it's 23 degrees and the heater is on. In this case heat represents darker areas, cooler or lighter areas. Okay. Now we're going to take a look at the uh, interior of the garage door. This is a style on the roll up door. And again, light is cooler, darker is warmer. I'm going to pull you over to a hinge. You can see this is a standard hinge that you would find on most common roll-up doors. I think you could probably identify that. Now I'm going, to, I'm going to take you outside. This is the house. There's the windows and the center door. Uh, glass is opaque to thermal image cameras or radiation, so you won't see anything but dark. But what I want you to see are these garage doors. You could see in the video that the uh, the heat loss is coming through there. Now this is the pole barn that I worked on last year and you can see the frame of the door. You can also see a darker section on the left side of the barn. And I'll get to that in a minute. Now what we're going to do is we're going to stabilize on this door and you can see there's no signature to that door. There's no rails or styles. And you can see I'm walking up to the door this morning. Again, we have no sunlight. It's strictly starlight. There's no moon. So this is just thermographic imaging. And uh, again, the temperature is not quite right on this thing, but it's not important. We're only looking for comparisons. Okay. Now last year before I started this project, this is what the barn door looked like. It, uh, in this case though, we used the color and it's reversed, so the darker is cooler and the brighter is warmer. I know, that's the way I did it. But you can obviously see the heat loss. It's uh, quite pronounced, all right? After I insulated the door, this is the result. No visible rails or styles. There's a little bit of heat loss in the upper corners, but I'll, I'll address those later on. Now let's go to the uh, other side of the barn that that's, uh, I talked about earlier. This is the south side of the barn, and you can clearly see the uh, post and beam construction. It's a standard pole barn, and those vertical and horizontal runs are actually the framing, the posts and the framing that the sheeting is mounted to. The sheeting is OSB, uh, half inch. We have uh, tar paper over that. I, yeah, there's tar paper. And uh, vinyl sided. It's a pretty standard pole barn. It has a door on this side and three windows. And some of the irregular stuff that's hard to see are actually arborvitaes. Um, I know it's not a really great image, but remember, we are not looking at this in the visible spectrum. You're only looking at it in the inferred in spectrum. Now, what's really, really fascinating is you can see the frame below the skin of the building. Again, here, the, the darker areas is warmer. The lighter area is cooler. There's a, a window, and there's an arborvitae, and uh, there is... A door. There's another arborvitae. Those are about seven feet tall, by the way. And again, you can see the the frame. Now, this is a really great tool if you're if you're trying to diagnose a problem with a piece of equipment, or if you're looking for energy gain or loss in a system. In this case, I'm using it on my pole barn. This part of the pole barn I never finished. It's uh, it's sectioned off or partitioned off from the main part of the building. It's a small area. It's uh, 8 foot wide and it's 50 foot long. I hadn't determined what I was going to do and I finally decided what I wanted to do out there. So I'm finishing it off. Um, by the end of the year I should have it insulated and drywalled and everything the way I want. And I'll, I'll reshoot this video and uh, show you the results of that. 
Again, remember, we are not looking at the visible spectrum. The sun is not up. There is no moon. We only have starlight. The skies are clear and black. And you're seeing only temperature data here. So this is a powerful little tool. It's, uh, it's made by Seek Thermal and it plugs into a smartphone, in this case an Android, but they make it for, uh, for iPhone. I'll, I'll put some more information in it later on about them. It's a great tool. It's not too expensive. I think I paid $250, $300 for the thing. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'll get back to you on this. I wanted to put out this short little video on uh, the barn and the door and how well it performed. So far this winter, I, I expect it's going to save me lots of money this year. So, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. And uh, stay tuned. I got some great stuff coming up this year. And I promise more videos more often. Are you videotaping still? You're good? No, don't put your fingers in front of it, honey. All right, hit stop. All right, hit stop.